Happy Valentine's Week, everybody. It's Tony. Happy Valentine's Week, everybody. We love love, and we're here to just share some insights and tidbits with you for this week. And this is my girl, Sage. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie Pearl. Hi. Listen, um, you know, Valentine's Week is such a beautiful time because it, it makes people think about the one they love instead of all the busyness of their life. And we all know what's most important to us in a life is love and passion and aliveness. But unfortunately, that stuff gets set aside trying to schedule everything else in. And we're even working here to do this little video and they're in the background here waiting to continue some construction on the building next door. Just life keeps happening. So our hope for you this week is that you decide to make it not just Valentine's Day or Valentine's Week, mm -hmm. but you decide there's gonna be a part of you and a part of your partner in life, whether you found them or the one you're pursuing or the one you're already with, that you're gonna to start to cherish at a different level. Absolutely. And while that may sound corny, uh, we've got some skills. We just spent some time in Hawaii for seven days with our platinum partners, and we went deep. We were with couples that were absolutely gone. Uh, how would you describe some of them? Some of them totally in love, some of them over the top, but how would you describe the experience, honey? It was, it was, um, it's amazing to be able to take a relationship that truthfully doesn't feel that passion and doesn't feel that intimacy and that love, and in a moment to be able to decide something new. And uh, that's what happened over and over and over again in Hawaii. And so you're gonna be able to experience uh, a taste of that. And we're just here to say that this week in Valentine's week, remember it's about waking up. It's about waking up to adoring your partner at such a different level and celebrating your partner. And you know, it's crazy because on Valentine's day, you know, we do so much that's romantic and that's thoughtful and that's creative and go out of our way. And it's about bringing that magic and that love and that thoughtfulness and that sincerity and, and waking up to your partner's needs at such a different level because uh, it really is in the little things that uh, you know just create that depth of love. It's also just deciding to set a stake in the ground, a, yes. a standard for going forward that this is not just Valentine's Day, but your life. Absolutely. You know, people get what they accept. People get what they tolerate in themselves and in each other. And most people in a relationship are thinking about what they're going to tolerate in the other person. But in our relationship, I think the, the beauty and the passion and all the juice that I've gotten experience in our relationship with my girl is because I hold myself to a higher standard than she could ever expect of me. And I think when your standard and focus is about yourself instead of about your partner, about how do I show up more, what am I here to give? In the beginning of a relationship, people's whole focus is how do I light them up? I want to do anything that lights them up. And it makes you feel incredible to light your partner up. And you know a relationship is aging, not based on years, but based on when you can be with somebody a week, but if you start thinking about well, what are they doing for me and mm -hmm. I'm doing it all, and you start measuring what you're giving instead of just giving from your heart and your soul, mm -hmm. things drop off. So maybe this week is a chance for you to really create some relationship breakthroughs. And we think that takes three things, any kind of breakthrough. Sometimes it's having the right strategy. Because mm -hmm. frankly, you know, as a guy, we say and do things that <laughs> girls interpret very differently they come up with very different meanings and vice versa mm -hmm. you know for men for example problems are not things you talk about problems are things you solve right now or you make them small and move on for ladies sharing that problem digging in feeling it not solving it understanding it understanding <laughs> gentlemen is such a key piece we are such different species and i think having an understanding of each other and each other's needs and knowing that we are not the same. You know, our own reality of how we think and feel and process life is, isn't the same for your partner. So having that, not just understanding, but truthfully appreciation for how they view and experience the world is a game changer, is a game changer. There's so many things in our relationship and it's like, oh my goodness, you know what? It's not me, because sometimes you take things person, it's just knowing that that's how they process reality and process life. When they say that, it's not men are for Mars, women no. for Venus, John Gray's a friend of mine. That's a wonderful approach, but. All men have a feminine side and a masculine side. All women have a feminine side and a masculine side. It's really just understanding how this species, the mm -hmm. different species, interpret the world. And if you don't understand the strategy of how to interpret that, you'll be upset or angry or frustrated. So perhaps this week, uh, and you know, you'll be able to dig in and get some new understandings that'll take some of the weight off and make you laugh at stuff mm -hmm. that you used to get upset about. It's one thing to have strategies to know how to fix things, but oftentimes you don't apply what you know because you got a story about your relationship, mm -hmm. a story about your partner. They don't really care. You know, you've got frustrations or pains or disappointments that got interpreted in the past, and now you're generalizing about your partner. And whenever we generalize about anybody, we do them a disservice in ourselves as well. So maybe this week during Valentine's week is maybe discover what are the empowering stories about your relationship. If you ask a couple, how did you meet? And they talk about it with such passion and excitement, you know the relationship's still alive. If they go, yeah, we met, you know, this is what happened and we bumped into each other. There's no energy for it. Even the story of how you met affects you. It does. So 
part of this week might you might want to take a look at the stories that you tell about your partner to yourself to your friends uh, to your partner because we we start to believe our stories and I always tell people you want to change your life change your story divorce the story of how your partner's not enough or you'll never find the partner you want if you're single or the good ones are gone <laughs> whatever's stopping you from getting what you want in a relationship there's a story about it you can uncover it you can get rid of it divorce your story and marry the truth the truth is always something that will empower you much more and that truth of that magnification remembering it's like one of the gifts that we give each other especially actually at a time like this like valentine's week is actually reliving those moments you know reliving the magic and appreciating the magic and it's just i don't know it infuses into your life rather than looking and letting those stacking stack up for you become frustrations and uh the story knowing that this man i was born to love this man I there's love that no. story. <laughs> and God no. gifted me for all that I've done with millions of people. The good I've done, this has been the gift of my life that I've gotten from that. I believe that's my positive karma. Mm -hmm. That's the core story I believe about this woman. And that produces a, a love and a commitment and a devotion to each other mm -hmm. that gets through any of the other BS that shows up when you get caught up in the daily stresses of things. So rewrite your story. What is your love affair and who are you for the one that you love? And if you're single, it's time to rewrite the story of who you are and the one that you're gonna attract because whatever we focus on, wherever, we all know, wherever energy goes, wherever focus goes, energy flows. So your story controls the energy of your life. If, if you think all the good ones are gone, it's self-fulfilling. You know, if you're overweight and you aren't losing weight, the strategies are there, but you're not doing it because you go, I've tried everything. You haven't tried everything, not all the good ones are gone. Mm -hmm. And your partner, who's right with you, if there was ever a passion, that passion can be brought back to life with the right strategies. But first, you got to have the story that says it can. The last one, real fast, and we'll yes. go is the most important part of a relationship is the state you're in. We always call it the Peace. state of the union. Uh -huh. You know, what's the state of the union? If two people, independent of each other, are in peak states about things in their business, their life, their career, and they meet together, it's a great relationship. If they're both in kind of a so so state, Eventually, the relationship's so so. If they're both in a crappy state, for example, it's a crappy relationship. What people want is when we meet somebody, we get attracted to them because they change our state, they change the way we feel, and we get excited and want to be with them. Are you being, are you putting yourself in a state when you're with the partner in your life or the person you want to attract? Are you really in the state that would want them, make them want to be with you like they would be in the beginning? Mm -hmm. You know, most people are noticing what the other person isn't doing, but the most important thing is you're going to interpret your partner in really negative ways when you're in a lousy state. You ever been mad at somebody about something and you found out later on you were wrong? It was just the state you're in. So we have so many tools for changing state and we work at it. <laughs> we do, and I, I'm giggling about this one because state, my husband always says I'm the most loving human being on the planet until I don't eat, then he calls me Godzilla. Um, so from a, state, fire. <laughs> from a state perspective, be aware, sometimes truthfully, we will even, if there's a stacking or we have a frustration, we will literally, uh, it's like, you know what, like we need to change our state. We'll go drink some water, we'll eat something. Just taking a breath from what's happening in that moment so it allows your physiology to change so you're not like bringing that to the table in that moment because that can just cause, if you're both frustrated and those two frustrations are just going together, it's like literally, I mean, we will, uh, physically just it's like let's do something physical we'll jump in the pool it sounds crazy but it actually like you know you come out and you feel different and feeling different your physiology you experience a different reality when you're stuck in a relationship you're stuck because you're stuck in a state mm -hmm. people get stuck in the future or future's not the way they want it to be in their head or something that happened in the past the best thing is to change something in the present physically change it drink some water have something <laughs> to eat jump in the river do whatever you got to do because in the right state you and I both know if, this is, if there's any love there, you will transform and come back and solve the problem. But in the wrong state, mm -hmm. good people, the right people in the wrong state will mess up the relationship. So if you want to have a breakthrough this week, look at some of the strategies for understanding, appreciating, and changing. Look at what triggers you to feel attracted because this week's not just about love, it's love and passion. Because if all you have is love, you have a friendship. Nothing wrong with that. But if you have an intimate relationship, then there's passion there. So what are the strategies to trigger that, the masculine and feminine energy, the dance of it? Take a look at some of those this week. Take a look at this week as your own story. Take a look at your state. Mm -hmm. And we're going to introduce some little videos this week for you. It's just our gift to you. And then at some point, there'll be an offering for you to continue your education with us. We have our ultimate relationship program. Mm -hmm. And they'll have some kind of special offer for you. And that's, if you want to continue this journey with us and really expand things, please take advantage of that. But the first thing we want to do in the next day or two, maybe they'll put it on this video. I don't know how they'll do it. Uh, is what we call the eight to be great, mm -hmm. which is what are the laws of love and lust? They're different, love and passion. What makes you love somebody doesn't always make you excited by them. Sometimes you just want to snuggle. What makes you excited doesn't always bring out love. Mm -hmm. 
How do you trigger both of these in the same relationship? And We're ignite gonna... that. Yes. Ignite that passion. Ignite that love. Ignite that attraction. It can turn on in an instant. And that's what we really share. You know, for us, we are each other's best friends. I mean, there's literally, I, we share everything together. And that's yet, good. To have that and to have that intimacy alive, to have that and to have that level of attraction, that's where it's just, it's a game changer. It's a game changer of a level of love and excitement and anticipation to really share your life together. And fun. And fun. <laughs> like we can call each other Godzilla and, and we just roll with it. <laughs> we, Godzilla, Godzilla. Wait, me. I'm never intense. What are you talking about? No, he's a cupcake. Anyway, I'm a total cupcake. Happy Valentine's week. Yeah. We hope you enjoy some of the stuff we're sending you. We hope it's helpful for you. We know it will be if you take the time. and. And uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to meet you in person someday at an event or hear the story of how you've changed your life and changed your relationship. Either created the one you really want or taken the one that you're in to a new level. God bless to you. Happy Valentine's Day.